Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how to get odors out of your fabric for your couches, your chairs, things like that. And you know, if you have pet odors from your, your dogs and cats sitting on things, or you have uh, any other kind of odors from cooking or things like that, or if your wife is, you know, browning some butter to make some great chocolate chip cookies and forgets about it and fills the whole, you know, place with smoke, and your couches and pillows and things like that smell from it, this is your solution. Okay, so here's what you do. So, your friend is baking soda. It, uh, it absorbs the smell. It is something that you can just sprinkle over your entire couch or your chairs and things like that. And it's basically pure baking soda is what you need for this. And we made our own shaker. So sure you can buy a shaker, but this is just wax paper over a mason jar, some tape around it. Use a screwdriver to poke some holes in it. You can use that. Or you actually can use like a screened kind of strainer if you want to. Much messier, wouldn't suggest doing that. So all you're gonna really do is you're gonna take this and basically I put, obviously I put a bunch of baking soda in this and you're just gonna basically sprinkle it all over your couch. And this is gonna absorb the smell and uh, it's gonna basically absorb any kind of the smells that, you know, you're, like I said, you're cooking, your pet smells, things like that. You're gonna do this all over your couch. And for the extra bad spots, what I like to do is not only will I basically cover my entire couch with this, but then I'll put a towel over it because the towel will help basically hold in the smells and so those smells get absorbed with the baking soda that I'm putting onto the couch. So that's really what you're gonna do. And then you're gonna leave this sit for hours. I like to leave it sit overnight if you can, but you know, this is also where we sit and watch TV and uh, things of like that. So at least let it, let it sit for hours, but if you can, let it sit overnight. And uh, then your smells will be gone and hopefully that smell of burnt butter will go away from our couch. Three hours later. Hey guys, welcome back. We have breaking news. The couch is no longer gonna smell. And uh, we've been waiting for about three to four hours. And we're gonna start to vacuum the baking soda off the couch to remove the smell. So here we go. Wow, just look at that before and after. We did this side, this is the cushion we just vacuumed off. And you could smell it, it's like, I wouldn't say it's sunshine, but it smells, doesn't have the smell it had before from the dog sitting on it and from that butter that uh, filled this whole place with smoke because we needed to have cookies that night. So anyways, I'm gonna continue my vacuuming process, but you can see the difference between the two. You know, this actually came out nice and clean and it's kind of oddly satisfying because it took all the dog hair off too, which our dog doesn't shed, um, by the way, but um, she still sheds a little bit. And now the couch smells wonderful. So I'm gonna keep going. Okay, some people might think, Mr. Gizmo, are you crazy? Putting baking soda on your couch? And I'd be like, yep. And they're gonna say, well, won't, when you vacuum it off, are you still gonna get dust and stuff coming up from the couch? And the answer is no. You just have to put the baking soda on and it takes the smell out, which is really kind of a nice feature. And now, the couch really doesn't smell like anything, which is really kind of nice because that's what we're going after, right? So. Whatever the smoke was from the burnt butter, thanks to my wife's cooking and making cookies, um, it's gone, which is really kind of nice. So there's two things with this. One is, it's really easy. You just gotta let it sit for a uh, number of hours. Second is always, if it's like something that you know is really kind of got a stinkiness to it, like we did, you know, put the baking soda on, 
put a towel over it so it kind of absorbs, helps hold it in and absorb stuff. And then get a good powerful Dyson vacuum or something like that to suck it up. And then you will have a beautiful couch again that's extra clean and does not have a smell to it. So that's it. Subscribe to our channels. Give us a, give us a thumbs up. If you can say that twice fast, give us a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget super thanks. Somebody bought me a coffee this week. I enjoyed it. I really liked it. So if I've helped you, feel free to help me. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks.